Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Phil Switch. I'm Phil Carute, and I'm joined by my fearless co-host, Brock. Tamarino, the Phil Switch podcast is brought to you by Sal's Tire Caps. Sal's Tire Caps. Sure, some people like hamburgers, some people like hot dogs. With Sal's Tire Caps, you can have both. Brock, how have you been doing? Uh, yeah, I've been doing good. I, uh, you know, I had a little break here and uh, kind of recharged a little bit. Um, just uh, I, I was on a short vacation, so that was nice. Taking a couple days uh, off just, you know, as I, like I said, uh, recharge. People like saying uh, recharge when they've uh, taken some time off there. How about, uh, how about you, Phil? Yeah, yeah, I feel recharged. Yep. So uh, we're back. We have a guest right out of the gate, studio guest. Gerald is back. Uh, you guys might remember him. Uh, he had talked to us about doing some um, voiceover work for companies, and then he was delving into uh, motivational uh, speaking or uh, motivating people, a motivator. So Gerald, you're back in, and he's been gracious enough to allow us to have callers call in and ask him for some advice as far as getting motivated about things. Uh, so Gerald, welcome to the Phil Switch uh, studio once again. Hey, thanks guys for having me. Okay, I'm just, I just, I'm so glad to be back here. Uh, I, you know, I feel like there was an outpouring. I don't know if there was, but I feel like there was an outpouring, okay, of, of people being interested and uh, having maybe some uh, things they would like help with motivationing uh for me okay and so i thought i'd come back on and uh, take some calls okay after i talked to your producer after the last time i was on here okay sounds good so we have our first caller uh joe joe you're on the fill switch we have gerald here um what do you need help with uh some motivation with joe well guys uh you know i've been trying to find a gal uh been trying to find a nice gal for a while. And uh, I think I found one. Uh, I met her online. Uh, I know that used to be kind of taboo. Now it's kind of the end thing. Uh, do I know her? Not really. Uh, but she seems like a nice gal. Uh, her avatar thing is uh, uh, nice. It's, uh, it's decent, I would say. And uh, the problem is uh, we've kind of talked back and forth. Uh, I really kind of want to meet her in person and, uh, I just really, I'm having a hard time. I don't know, you know, I don't know what to do, what to say, um, to let her know that, Hey, uh, you know, you're a solid seven. Um, I'd like to think I'm a six, at least six, seven, maybe eight, uh, on good days. Uh, what do you say? We, uh, uh, see each other face to face, start having conversations. Okay, yeah, so this is, um, I get a lot of questions about relationships, okay? And, uh, the thing I can tell you right now, okay, is that one thing you have to make sure to do is you got to make sure that you got confidence, okay? And you might be asking yourself, Joe, how do I get confidence, okay? And the thing I would say to you right now is what you've got to focus on is you've got to start building yourself up, okay? And sometimes people say, well, what does that mean to build yourself up, okay? And when you get up first thing in the morning, you got to think to yourself, Joe, you got to think, you know, Joe, you're, you're an okay person. You're easily a seven, maybe an eight, okay? And then go right to the mirror, Joe. Go right to the mirror, and after you brush your teeth, you want to do that first. Make sure you brush, brush your teeth, Joe. I always tell people oral hygiene is very important, okay? But after you brush your teeth, Joe, and maybe even, you know, rinse your face off a little bit, do you shower in the morning, Joe, or are you an evening shower? Uh, uh, I, I like to shower in the morning. Now, unless I've gotten a good workout in, I'm getting, you know, my gains. Uh, maybe get a little sweaty at night. Maybe, uh, you know, tossing it up with some people uh, on the ping pong tables. Uh, if I get sweaty, I'll take a shower at night. Sometimes take a shower at night, take a shower in the morning. Uh, I can never be too clean. Uh, but most of the time, I'm a morning uh, morning showerer, uh, I'll say. 
All right, so as soon as you get up, you got your toothbrush, or since you're in the morning shower, okay, you get in the shower. After you get out of the shower, you're dried off, and you're taking care of whatever else you need to take care of, okay? You look in that mirror, Joe, and you say, Joe, today's the day. We're going to talk to this lady, okay? And we're going to tell her, hey, I'm a solid seven date, okay? You're a seven, okay? You might not, uh, uh, you know, actually think about that, Joe. You might not say anything about that, okay? That might be too forward. So you might just say, hey, uh, lady, I was wondering, okay, if uh, we've been having some interesting conversations, okay, online, and I was wondering if maybe uh, you'd want to meet with me, okay? So that's how you got to do it. So I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna brush my teeth. I'm gonna take my shower. I'm gonna say, "Hey, Joe, you're you're a, a solid seven to eight on a good day." And uh, I'm not gonna say anything about uh, what I think think of her. And then I'm gonna say, "Hey, uh, lady, I call her gal." Uh, well, I, she has a name. I don't want to say her name. You know, I, uh, you know, respect her privacy. Uh, I'm going to say, hey, uh, lady, uh, you know, I, uh, I, uh, you know, I think it's, uh, um, you know, I, it's, uh, it's about high time uh, we knock off this charade online and, uh, uh, just meet me face to face. Well, I, um, that might, that sounds a little aggressive. Do, uh, Phil, do you think that sounds aggressive? That sounds a bit aggressive. Uh, when you say like, meet me face to face, uh, forcefully like that, it sounds like maybe you're going to fight her. Uh, I, uh, in retrospect, I kind of see that. So, okay. Uh, so what am I saying again? All right. So you're going to get on, you're going to say, Hey lady, um, uh, I think it's time, or, or no, don't say I think it's time, because then that makes it sound like like you're trying to dominate the situation. Okay, you might you say something like, "Hey, lady, uh, we've been having some real interesting conversations." Okay, and I think it'd be good if we if we could meet face to face if if you'd like to do that. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna say, "Hey, lady, uh, we've been having some good conversations." Okay, and um, I think if you would like to. Okay, uh, we it, it'd be nice to meet face to face. Okay, and I'm gonna ask her. Okay, after everything I say, just to make sure she's okay with it. No, you don't have to say. You don't have to say okay after everything. Why would you think you have to say okay? Well, that, well that's what you were telling me to say. Oh, uh, Joe, I think there's there's a little bit of confusion. Um. So sometimes Gerald just says that he, you know, um, it's just something he says, kind of like confirming that you heard or understand what he's saying. So you don't have to put those okays in the uh, in the, the chat or email or whatever. Okay, because I was gonna say that seems kind of weird, <laughs> saying okay all the time. But oh, I don't think I say okay all the time, do I? Well, I, I, I mean, I. I notice a little bit, but it's not, it's not that bad. Okay. But, uh, so, uh, Joe, do you have any other questions for us? No, I think that, you know, I think you guys, uh, Gerald, I thank you for your time. Um, I'm going to get up tomorrow and I'm going to, I'm going to make that happen. I'm going to talk to this gal. Uh, and I think, I think I'm ready to take our relationship to the next level. <laughs> I, you know, as the kids say in the video games, I'm, uh, I'm going to be leveling up now. So, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling pretty darn good. I'm feeling like an eight today. I'm going to tell you that much right now. All right. Well, thanks, Joe. And uh, uh, we have the next caller. Uh, next caller, you are on. Yeah. Hi, guys. It's Debbie. Yeah. Show for Deborah. Uh, how you guys doing today? Oh, hey, uh, Debbie. Yeah, we're doing good. It's so nice to hear uh, hear your voice. Uh, nice to have you on. Uh, yeah, we're doing good. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so, Jared, I got a question, yeah. Uh, so, I have a friend, right? And the friend, it's so weird. Uh, when they're trying to talk to people, I've been talking to my friend. I say, you seem very nervous. And they're like, why, why do you think I'm nervous? I was like, well, you know, it's, uh, 
Sometimes when you're talking, after you say something, you say like a, you say a word after every sentence you say, you know. It's just something I notice. You seem nervous, yeah. And so the friend's like, well, what do I say? And I was like, oh, you say, uh, uh, you say, all right. You know, like you're asking somebody, you're like, you're like telling somebody something, you're like, I think I'm going to go out for, you know, a nice meal, all right. And um, then when we get there, I need, I'm going to need to park my car, all right? And so, you know, I just, what, what would you say, Gerard? <laughs> what would you say to somebody that says like a word after every sentence they say? Oh, yeah, I see how, I think, I think you, uh, I think that is kind of a nervous thing, okay? Like, I, I once knew a guy that, uh, every time he said something, okay, he would like cough. So he'd be like, Gerald, isn't that a, a pretty flower over there? Okay. <clears throat> and he would cough. And so I started talking to him. I said, you realize that you cough a lot when you say something, right? You're like, hey, look at that dog over there. <clears throat> and my friend's like, well, I don't mean to, okay. And so I started talking to my friend more, okay. And we end up being able to really resolve that issue for him, okay? So, I like, I try, I'm trying to think what I did for my friend, okay? Yeah, I'd be really interested to know, because, yeah, your friend coughing after the end of a sentence, uh, you know, just kind of like, I don't like that, no. But, uh, yeah, so my friend keeps saying, all right, after every sentence, and I'm kind of thinking, like, wow, he says that a lot, you know? It's not nice, I don't like it, yeah. And uh, so I just wondering, like, what would you do, Gerald? What would you do? So your friend says, all right. He's like, so from, from what I'm understanding, your friend's like, hey, uh, Debbie, we're going to go get some bonbons, all right? Yeah, that's kind of a... So if he's saying that because he's nervous, okay... I think the first thing you need to do is express to your friend, like, hey, I've noticed you say, all right, okay? And if your friend's like, well, I don't notice it, all right, okay? Then I think what you need to do is say, well, I, I think maybe sometimes you need to hear yourself, okay? And maybe take some, like, voice recordings and just see how you talk to people, okay? And I think that you'll start realizing that after every sentence, okay, you say, all right, okay? And I, I think your friend, I think if your friend just hurt himself, okay, I think he would understand that maybe what he's doing might kind of be weird in conversations, okay? That sounds like really good advice. So, I, I, let me ask you something, Jared. You did, like, voiceover work, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you did voiceover work. So, have you ever heard those voice recordings? And no, you don't listen to those. Well, I try, I'm one of those kind of voice actors and actors that I don't like hearing myself again, so I don't really listen to myself, okay? So, once I record something, okay, like say I was recording something for M&M's, okay, and I was like, M&M's, they get hot in your hand, but they uh, become liquid chocolate in your mouth, okay? So, I'd say something like that, okay? And then I, I would just, I, I would never listen to it again, okay? Yeah, I have a feeling you haven't heard yourself in conversations before. Can So, yeah, Joe, that's good advice. Maybe listening to oneself back in recording so you can hear what you're doing. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Don't you, Gerald? Yeah, I think that's a good idea, okay? Yeah, so maybe, you know, have you ever thought with all the voice work you're doing and stuff that maybe you should just, like, quality control it every so often? Well, I don't... There's, like, a whole... There's a whole separate team, okay, that does that, okay? That's called, like, the editing crew, okay? So I don't like to mess with them, okay? Because then they think that, like, I'm a prima donna, okay? Yeah... That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, Gerald, I tell you what, okay. Um, you keep uh, doing what you're doing. Do your motivational speaking, okay. And then uh, maybe if you get a chance, maybe somebody will say like, oh, gosh, your, your motivational speeches are so good, okay, Gerald, that, that you should really listen to one, okay. Hey, Debbie, I... I I don't, 
And just right at the end of this conversation, okay, it seemed like you were getting nervous because you started repeating the word okay, okay? Oh, did I? I didn't even notice that, okay? It's so weird that I just started doing that, okay? But now I'm sitting here and I'm talking to you, okay? And I can hear it, okay? Which is so weird. It's weird that I can hear it, okay? But then other people, when they do it, they don't seem to hear it, okay? Yeah, that's a real interesting phenomenon, okay? I've actually done research in that, okay? And it, it, it is like, it's kind of like you're so close to the fight, okay? You can't see everything that's happening, okay? Yes, definitely like that. Well, I'm going to get going. I uh, I wish you all the best, Joe. Yeah, I do. I wish you all the best. I really do. And uh, I just hope that everything goes well for you, okay? Okay, thank you. Well, that was... Uh, <laughs> I got I to gotta say that was uh, fascinating. Um... Uh, Gerald, we are uh, running out of time here, uh, so I appreciate you allowing a few of our callers to come on and uh, talk to you, get some advice, and uh, for our listeners out there, I hope that there were little nuggets that uh, you picked up from Gerald, and uh, you'll be able to use those in your own life. Maybe we'll have Gerald on another time uh, to take more calls. Yeah, thanks for having me on, guys. I really I really like coming on the show, okay? And um yeah, anytime you guys want me back, okay, just let me know and I'll come and I'll come and help people in any way I can, okay? Okay. Um okay. Gerald, that sounds great and uh we will talk to you later, Gerald. Thank you for uh coming into the studio. Guys, I'm going to going to send us out here. So once again, guys, thanks for listening to the Phil Switch podcast. Uh, don't forget to check out my other podcast, which I co-host with uh, Cap over at Kaplowitz Media. Uh, the 1st and 15th comes out on the 1st and 15th of every month, oddly enough. If you guys would like to reach out to us, you have any questions or comments, you can do so through email. Uh, you can email the philswitch at gmail.com. Again, that's the philswitch at gmail.com. We wish you all a great week, and we'll talk to you soon here at the Phil Switch.